All right, let's make a vampire survivor tier list. So these are in order of name, alphabetic A to Z. We'll start with armor. I think armor is D tier. Doesn't do any damage. Moving my thoughts on that. Attract orb. Certainly an A tier. Axe itself. I think is a C. Evolved whip. Put that probably at a B tier. Bones are an S. Bones are really great. Bracers, I think, are an A. Make everything go faster. Candle also an A. Make everything wider. Luck is amazing. Clover, rather, so... I think luck belongs in A as well. Cross itself, I think, is similar with... Uh, I think it's a little better than the axe. Is it better than Bloody Whip? I don't think so. It doesn't do as much damage. It is subject to Duplicator, though. I guess Whip is subject to Duplicator, too. Um, crown, I think, especially for particular builds, is amazing. Um, I do a lot of... A lot of high level only looking for runs so I think crown is necessary for me for that so that's why it falls under A. Uh, I think for the most part all of the evolved weapons are going to fall under S tier because they uh, really are second to none. You, you kind of need them if you're going to be doing anything in terms of uh, end game, high kill, high level runs. Um, duplicator similarly is awesome. I think duplicator might be the best item in the game. Uh, Ebony Wings, it's a C. Pigeon, slightly worse than Ebony Wings, but it's slightly better than armor. Empty book. <coughs> Just like the others, I think Empty Book is another A tier item. This is making me think more about a tractor, but I think that might go into S even. Uh, Fire Wand, I think it's slightly worse than Cross. But better than axe, better than ebony wings. Garlic. Garlic is a C tier item. Garlic is great late game. Garlic is great early game. Um, but there's no point in having it after the 10 minute mark I'm finding. Even, oh, I'll jump out of order here. Even Soul Eater, I think, barely fits into the B category. It does have a pretty wide radius, heals you, does a little bit more damage when you're hurt, but I don't. I still don't think it's better than any of these weapons in its upgraded form. Heaven Sword, so good. Hellfire, unreal. Hollow Heart, uh, I think. I think it's slightly underestimated. Uh, I think it's terrible. I still think it's bad. Just make yourself have more more HP. That's good. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's worth taking in any scenario unless you start as Antonio and you have the whip already in your hand. Uh, speaking of, let's go to the whip then. I think whip is probably, in my opinion, I like it a little bit more than garlic. Holy wand. That's the worst of them, but. Still good. Uh, I think Holy One is A tier. I think it's probably. I'd put it right there. Bible. I think Bible is certainly A tier. High A tier. <coughs> Knives? I think are mid B tier. Definitely better than Soul Eater, but I don't think they're as good as these other weapons. Clock Lancelet. S tier for the memes. Laurel. S tier for the living factor. I think if anybody struggles with getting runs to the 30 minute mark, a Laurel should be one of your picks. Because it's a 8th level upgraded form, you get 3 good seconds where you can just run through enemies. To not take damage and then it's going to regenerate lightning ring similarly very good damage especially combined with duplicator this, this thing can do a lot of damage at the end of the run holy wand i think is just slightly better than these two i think holy wand belongs there uh, magic wand belongs there 
pentagram is a lot of fun. I think it's C tier. I think it belongs probably here. We'll see though, we'll see what happens in coming rounds. Fumarola, the worst of the worst. Regenerates health, great. I mean, if you have luck, you're gonna get chicken constantly anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Rune Tracer, I think, is the best, was the best item in the game. Put that at number one, set to water, similarly up there. I think it's sort of, I think these two are pretty close in terms of how much damage they typically do for me. Spellbinder, I think, belongs with these guys. Let's move this ahead. I think these three are necessary in pretty much any run I do. I try and pick them if they're offered early on. Spinach, by far S tier. Overall damage done, total damage. It, that thing just, it really helps scale. Stone Mask, uh, I mean, Realistically, once you get 97,000 coins, this thing is worthless and you don't need any more uh, money, at least at the moment. So, obviously, be stocking up, save what you can, but for the moment, Stone Mask, you don't need it. All it does is increase the amount of gold you're going to get within the current run. Swiftness. I like Swiftness a lot. I never use Swiftness. I think Swiftness is B tier. I think it's better than Soul Eater. Thousand Knives, I kind of want to put it right among sort of the whip, because it, it is good, don't get me wrong, um, but in pretty much no scenario am I taking Knife to upgrade it. Unholy Vesper, I think it's, uh, I think it belongs up here, I think it's top, top four, top five, just in terms of, it's, it's the best item in terms of defense and attack. Um, and then move on to Vandalier, the newest item in the game, does the most damage. Um, and the benefit of Vandalier is that currently, when you upgrade from your Ebony Wings and your Pichon into Vandalier, you open up another weapon slot, which is pretty unbelievable. Um, yeah, so this is my, my tier list. Let me know what you think.